A snowy Saturday found a barn at Senator Deb Fisher's ranch full of those involved in agriculture. To have that conversation with Agricultural Secretary Sonny Purdue. Our concern for our producers, we talked about trade, uh, labor and regulatory issues in the agricultural sector and uh, I think everyone was excited about the uh, uh, proposal and the uh, prospect of getting American beef back into China. Uh, we know we're here in the, in the largest cow-calf county in the United States and these, do, these folks do a great job. Uh, they produce it and my goal is to sell it. So that's what we're going to do with an Undersecretary of Trade. Kirk, we're in China right now negotiating the details of that uh, agreement. It seems to be going well. But any kind of trade, it's not over until it's all signed and done. So we don't want to be too premature, but things seem to be going very, very well. And we think the Chinese are very serious. The president had a very good conversation with President Xi. That began that 100-day deal between our two countries. And uh, we think uh, we think it will culminate and a great deal for USB producers. Producers across the Midwest are grateful for crop insurance, especially with the way Mother Nature has treated them this year. But could federal crop insurance manage an influx of requests should this spring continue like it has? Well, actually, I think the most of the data indicates it'll be down. There was, frankly, a, a lot of a great production year in 2016, as you know. We don't know what 17 is going to have. We've had floods, we've had fires, we've had other things. But I'm hoping it'll be a great year. But we can't continue to assume that we're going to have record yields in that each and every year. So uh, uh, the crop insurance is a wonderful safety net program. We hope we'll see it continued, even enhanced in the 2018 Farm Bill to provide these producers uh, a safety net that they participate in buying crop insurance is an insurance product not a handout not a not a uh, uh, not a giveaway but they produce they participate in that and we hope that uh, we won't have to just like any insurance I, I buy insurance on my house hoping I'll never need it and they do the same with their crop insurance well the budget's going to come out this next week uh, there's some people that anticipate the crop insurance may be lowered the fact is crop insurance has been lowered over the time. Uh, Senator Fisher and her team, her, her colleagues, have uh, we're spending less in crop insurance than we did uh, a few years ago based on good production years. So uh, I'm confident that we will understand at the end of the day when the budget is signed that crop insurance is an integral part of the safety net for our producers out there. And as the secretary continues to get folks in place to help him run the USDA, I asked him if he had any frustration with the pace of making those official announcements. Nothing ever moves as fast as I like for it to. Uh, I didn't like sitting up there in the Senate for 100 days either, but uh, we got well, here. We got to know we, each uh, other. We were neighbors right. there for a while. Well, yeah. we, uh, we got, uh, we've got some good people we've recommended to the president uh, for his appointment. Uh, they're looking at those people now, and I think... Uh, I think American producers and uh, American consumers will be very pleased. Every organization, large and small, depends on the quality of its people. I'm the beneficiary of a great agency. Uh, the dedicated career people in the USDA are wonderful, hardworking uh, people who want the best food on the table, and we're going to put leadership in those uh, those areas to help guide that. Any estimated timeline is when we'll start seeing those official announcements? I would say within a few weeks. Just south of Valentine, I'm Susan Littlefield on the Rural Radio Network.